Hello everybody. So I just finished setting this up and personalizing it a little better for me. I've done a, added a few inserts and things because this is going to be my business planner as I mentioned in a previous video. This is the Recollection Spiral Bound 18 month planner. And I'm going to be using it for all things paper crafts and planners and my fun stampers journey business. So first of all, I just put some stickers. These um, were not on here. These flowers are from the new seasonal Mambi sticker packet. And then these letters came in that packet also. And I don't have contact information because this generally would not leave the house. Okay, so as I showed you before on this section, which is supposed to be for important dates, I'm putting the Fun Stampers Journey products that I want to highlight, work with, learn, do a few videos and blog posts on. I'm going to kind of map those out for the year. The new catalog comes out in July, so I'll be doing that more planning then. Okay, so the first thing I added was this 90 day goal sheet and on the back it has my ideal schedule. So the way I did that in a spiral bound notebook is you just take your piece of paper and you line it up next to the holes and you put little dots where the holes are. Now I didn't do the holes all the way up and I'll show you what I what I did instead but so you just do the holes however many you think you're gonna need then you take your scissors and you snip twice to make this little opening make sure you can see that okay then what I did was I did a section down here and a section up here I put it in my slicer and I sliced from that one hole to this hole so it's not a full um, sheet of holes it looks like that and then it just pops right in so I know Erin Condren for her planner she has these little uh, sticky tabs that you attach to the paper and then they've got the holes already in them and they're plastic and that probably will uh, last a lot longer than something like this. But this is just a 90 day goal sheet. So these are 90 day goals for my business, my blog, everything like that. I love this quote, the distance between dreams and reality is called action. It's something I need to remember. And this is, it came in a fortune cookie at um, Panda Express and I'm eating plant-based so I just had a tea, but they handed me a fortune cookie with it. So it says, discover the talents within yourself. Not a fortune, but good advice. <laughs> and these again are from the Mambi uh, sticker pack. And these are from the Create 365 Mambi uh, productivity sticker booklet. Okay. And then on the back, I've written my ideal schedule. And this morning I added something extra to it because um, I realized that what I've been doing in the morning is turning on um, my Audible app and listening to productivity books, different books on, on um, Audible. And I've got a little notepad beside my bed and sometimes I jot down little notes as I'm listening. So I just put listen and read book and I do that while I'm in bed. I, I don't, I haven't gotten up yet for the day. Okay, and then by eight o'clock, I wanna get out of bed, take my shower, dress, make my bed <laughs> and have my breakfast and check my schedule so that by nine o'clock I can start working. So from the 9 to 9.50, I'm either filming videos or I'm creating something, organizing something for a video, okay? Um, or I'm up uploading a video that I filmed already. I'm uploading and editing that. So that's pretty much all about making videos in the morning, okay? Then I take a break and do part of my fitness challenge. This um, month, I'm doing a squat challenge, and I'm up to, I think today is 28 or 30 squats. So um, I will do half of them then because I'm a wimp and then usually filming right here and then the other half when I take my break. So I work in 50 minute chunks and make myself stand up and stretch, do my squats, do something, go refill my water, whatever it is. I need to go do something for 10 minutes that sort of makes me stand up. Otherwise, I'd be sitting the entire day. Okay, so. So that's 10 to 10 50 I'm filming and then 11 to 11 50 I'm writing and or editing something I've written the day before. So I need to have regular writing time in my scheduler. I just won't do it. And then I take a longer um, lunch break. And then for this period right here, sometimes I have to take my nephew to work. He works two to 10. And if it's a work day, I have to take him to work. If it's not a work day, that's when I'm going to get some household stuff done. Um, dusting, vacuuming, whatever it may be for that day, that's when I'm going to do it. And I, I have to double up these chores because some days I'm not home, some days I'm taking him to work. So, And then I want to get back on it by 3 o'clock. 
this is when I'm gonna um, going to work on administration stuff. Like I'm gonna do filing, I'm gonna do purging, I'm gonna do cleaning up, um, things that don't um, that make me more productive, but aren't but seem like busy work to me. These always seem like busy work, and I know they have to be done, but that's the way it is. Um, and I'm preparing my social media posts for that night. So I want to make sure I have a good picture to go on Instagram, or um, I want to make sure that I know which blog post I'm going to post to Pinterest, um, what I'm going to post to Facebook. If I don't have something of my own content, then maybe something from Fun Stamper's Journey, or I'm going to repost somebody else's funny something, meme, whatever. I want to make sure I know what I'm going to put up and get it ready. Okay, so from 5 to 5.50, I'm going to watch, read, share, comment other people's content. I'm going to read some blogs. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. I'm going to catch up on what other people are doing and make sure I'm commenting um, on all my social media across the board. Then I have dinner, and then I'm going to, as I sit there eating dinner or after dinner, I'm going to kind of pencil in my plans for the next day. I don't finalize them till in the morning when I'm checking my schedule, and I'll tell you why. But that's what's happening there. Okay, so then I showed you the editorial calendar already and how I have things on sticky notes so that if things come up and change, I can move them around. Because it's kind of hard, I think, to plan an entire month ahead and know exactly what you're going to want to do. Okay, so here is what my first full week in July is going to look like. These stickers came from the Mambi Productivity Pack. And after this week, I'll have to be writing this in myself somehow with uh, stamps or whatever, but I don't, there weren't that many of these stickers, but for this first week, I wanted it to look really pretty. This is a um, Studio L2E stamp, and this is going to be the hours that my nephew works, or it'll just say off if he's off. But I want to have this up here because I want to remember that um, I need to take that in consideration when I'm doing my schedule. I need to find out what his schedule is when I'm getting mine set up. Okay. Right here will be the YouTube and blog content that I'm planning for that week. It could change, but over here I want to have that noted. Over here is the admin stuff I want to get done for the week. Here is what I'm reading, learning, classes I'm taking, which I'm taking a class right now, a Udemy class. I think that's how you say it, U-D-E-M-Y on WordPress. I'm reading a book called Get Noticed, and I'm listening to a book on habit stacking. So I've got all three of those going on at once. I know that sounds a little crazy, but um, it's just whichever one I feel like doing on whichever day. And um, so I want to keep that down there, the ones that I'm currently working on for the week. I have this quote that says, don't be in love with your comfort zone. And that is something I need to remember. I need to really remember. <laughs> okay, so here are my hours for my ideal schedule. And right here is um, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram so that I can write each day what content I posted to each of those, kind of keep track. It is 4th of July up here. I didn't decorate very much for 4th of July because this is my business planner. That'll go in my other one. This little thing I did the same way, made this insert the same way. This is a file folder. Um, I purchased a set of these at the dollar spot at Target, and then I just added some of these flowers right there, some stickers, and this is a YouTube workflow, which I find really handy. I need to remember after I film that I edit and upload it. I take a thumbnail pic and add it, which I have not been doing. And I think it makes a big difference when people look at your video, if they see a thumbnail pic or not. Um, I need to add the links and I need to share it on social media. So that's the checklist kind of for a YouTube video. Blog, it's similar. Edit it, add video pics, pictures, add links and share on social media. So it's a little more complicated on a blog to add the links and everything, but I need to do that. I need to remember to do it and I need to make sure it gets done. And then on the back, I just have this quote. It says, don't count the days, make the days count. It's a Muhammad Ali quote. So this is how my weeks are going to look. I'm giving myself one day a week that I just totally take off. I Maybe I'll post something to Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest, but otherwise I'm not making any content. I'm not working on anything because I tend to work if not, I tend to work on things seven days a week. So I need to give myself a day when, and I've just arbitrarily picked this day. But from now on, once I know my nephew's schedule, it will be one of his days off. So it's truly a day off for me. I'm not on the road. Or maybe I'll make it one of his days that he works because he works in the grocery store if I need to go grocery shopping. And then that'll make be my errand day, get out of the house and go grocery shopping. So anyway, this is what it looks like right now. And I really love it so far, and I'm hoping it's going to work really well for me. 
And I will, of course, check back in and let you know how it works. But I think I've gotten a great start and I'm looking forward to July. Thanks everybody for watching and happy planning.